and welcome back. Well before we um, complete the front section of our fuselage there is just a couple of things that I need to resolve here. Um, basically what we want is these lines here sort of tapering down towards the front of the fuselage. So into vertices I'm going to start off with these two here. Now you'll notice there ignore back facing. Uncheck that otherwise it's not going to pick up the vertices at the back there. So let's select those again. Uh, move tool and let's just move those down a little bit. About there. Still watching it there. It's on the outside of our profile so that's okay. And move this one down as you can see that goes within the profile so our scale tool now are let's just right click on this side and bring that out there we can see it select undo I'll do these first just move that down a tad into our scale tool R and let's there we go we can just see that appearing there down to these W for our move tool down to there R for our scale tool and there they go select that one there W move tool thank you to about there R for our scale tool yep that's just come out there and then this one here or those two move tool down looks about right scale tool put there we go it's just hit the surface there okay that's looking a little bit better um I don't know maybe maybe these two here can come down a little bit so with those two there they're going inside the frame so scale tool just pull it out a little bit more and there we go yep I'm happy with that now okay so we'll pop over here go into our front view so hit F zoom pull out a little bit and we'll bring back our reference material. There we go. And now I want to come out of this editable poly here and go to our create and we're going to create another cylinder. Into the center, there, left click with my mouse, drag it out and we're looking for that circular section there let go of my mouse and then push this back a little bit and you just see it poking through on our perspective window there check the sides now sides are 20 cap segment 1 height segment 1 good and smooth isn't checked so now I'm going to convert this into an editable poly and then for this section we're going to go come on to our left viewport and we need to bring this off to this section just there pull it up a little bit now we need to go down to our edge we're going to select that section there and then we're going to say 
delete and that leaves us with this here I just pop in here so that's what we've got there now what we need to do is join this section to that section and we're going to do that by coming out of here selecting our fuselage section layer I'm going to pop down go to attach and say attach that section there and then I need to extrude this section here so into edge it's already got it selected but I need my move tool press shift and let's just extrude that out and if you watch the left viewport taking it to about there we'll go for our scale tool but we'll do it in this viewport here scale that down so it meets the profile there you see what's happening in here now we need to attach this to there so I'm going to select border now this border is already selected what I need to do now is press shift sorry press control and select that border there and now we can move down near to the bottom here and we're going to say bridge and as you can see that's bridged that section there only need it for the one so I'm going to click OK what we need to do now is just look at this section around here actually we'll ignore it I'm going to hide our reference material for a moment now um, hit F4 there what I want to do come off of that actually go on to polygon deselect that I want to hit that polygon there I'll just zoom it around a little bit and actually the geometry isn't all that bad there but coming back to this we're going to delete that now then I want edge deselect that uh, select this edge here and if we press our shift key we could go down to loop and that will loop it round I just undo that but if we're there and we press our shift key bit of a shortcut this and hit the next one to it it loops it as well so what I want to do now is just create an edge here so R for our scale tool um, use this one in here and if we press shift I will use this one if we press shift and hit in the center and drag out we can actually drag out an edge there and whilst it's still selected if we go to our move tool press shift again and push it inwards we're now extruding it back okay I just want to um, try something now I'm going to have a quick look I'm going to apply temporarily a turbo smooth to it well there we go let's hit F4 remove that open this up a little bit more well I think we're getting somewhere yes definitely 
all we need now to do is finish off on the tail section so remove our turbo smooth now I can either delete it or switch it off there and I'll reverse back to this I'll delete it now obviously when you're looking for reference material the first place you are going to look is the internet and this is where I did with Google search for Messerschmitt 109 and came up with quite a few images um, I also put in Messerschmitt 109e blueprints uh, 109 schematics and it threw quite a bit of useful material now due to copyright laws I don't want to infringe any of those but I can't introduce any of these directly into the tutorial so to speak but I can just explain a little bit about the internet um, there's one here see hmm look does it look familiar well it's not the same as mine but you can certainly use it a few more sections in there and of course there are some videos um, about the Messerschmitt 109 most of these are models themselves but you do as you can see there get some little gems um, if you search for engines various other things here's the one this guy here quite small is that one but there's a bigger one and he has a walk around uh, a Messerschmitt that was found in Russia in one of the bogs in Russia but yes these are excellent for your reference and for research into your models I mean I always whenever I'm doing a model trawl through the internet for all sorts of information um, let's just have a look there was one I saw around here which was here it is now you have a look at this one I always look at the size as well 2400 by 1800 so it's going to give you a lot of information but you look at that you can see here that the intake air intake on this one is slightly different to that one that we're using um, so you can see a lot more detail in these photographs and those are the things that you should do anyway right so we'll continue on with the tail section in the next tutorial so until then I'll catch you later